and it will be Iowa State kicking off and teeing the ball up is Steve Johnson. Deep to receive it, Tepalede and Leandro Bacon for the Texas Aggies. Texas A&M with a record of seven wins and four losses. The Iowa Staters have won eight and they have lost three. The second annual Hall of Fame Bowl in Birmingham, Alabama, and Legion Field. Ball is in the air. It is taken at the five-yard line and returned to the 10 to the 15, to the 20 to the 25. And up across the 30-yard line, Leandro Bacon. Mike Mosley is the quarterback. He has completed 80 passes, 139 thrown, 57.6 percentage. Four touchdowns, six interceptions. Curtis Dickey is the tailback, number 22. Dickey to the left side. Out to the 40, Curtis Dickey. Out to the 45-yard line and just across to the 46. They've got Gerald Curtis right to the right side. Make that football now, and here again. It is the tailback, Curtis Dickey, and he goes out of bounds at the 50-yard line. They send Doug Teague far to the right side. David Brothers is the fullback, number 32. And again, they send it to the left side, and Curtis Dickey carries. Chuck Carr is in there tight end now. Instead, the Brothers spins, but he is going for a loss for the Iowa State defense. Mike Schwartz is out back deep to receive it. Schwartz calls for a fair catch, lets it go, hits on the three and bounces back up Felix down on the two-yard line. A fortunate bounce. Tom Roach is the fullback and Dexter Green is the tailback in the eye. Motion across. From the end zone, Grant pumps and runs. Keeps it out to the five, to the ten. And he is down at the 14-yard line for a first and ten. Slide back across. Grant again sets, throws this one, and it's incomplete. Little car and Randall linebackers, Kalen Gruliker deep. Grant sets up and goes long, and it is incomplete. And so it's an interference call and a first and ten for Iowa State, and he was right. By the draw this time. Giving it off to Dexter Green. Green and Roach are in the eye formation. Motion across by Hardy. Grant sets up. Pumps it back. And it is completed. Diving catch. Made by Stan Hickson. Picked up 15 yards on the play. First and third at the 47. Greg Mixbrot's in there now. At a receiver spot for Iowa State. The option play. And Grant keeps it. He likes to do that. And he moved it to the 41-yard line. Again, six... Hardy goes out to set wide now. He has 13 receptions during the season. He's from Mulberry, Florida. Grant puts it up. The long bomb, and it's incomplete. He just put it up there and was hopeful. Mike Cannon. Offensive lineman, and here's the option play. Grant that time tripped up just as he got to the 40-yard line. Rich Miller waiting for the snap. Gets it, drops the ball, picks it up. Bearcat signal is going up, and he lets it go. And the ball is down at the 15-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go at the 17-yard line. Dickey gets the ball, goes to the left side, finds an opening after the 30, 35. He can run. And Curtis Dickey's at the 50. He turns the corner. Now he turns it on. It's finally bounced out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Mike Schwartz made the saving tackle. A 52-yard run. Curtis Dickey. He's being rested at the moment and it's going to Armstrong. Roger Armstrong, the tailback. Second down, seven yards to go. Brothers and Armstrong are in that backfield just now. In the eye formation. Here's Armstrong with the pitch. Valley stretched his body out across the 25 yard line. Paul Haggerty started at an offensive guard here tonight instead of tackle. Some switches were made by Texas AM, number 78. A keeper on the play by Mike Mosley, and Mosley is out of bounds as he went out at the 20-yard line. Fourth down and a yard to go, and they're going for it. Now they've got Brothers and Dickey in that eye formation. And he's going to try to pick up the first down, and his Brothers for first and ten. He moved it to the 18-yard line, and it's a first down. Mosley brings them up. And the pitch to Dickey. This time, he's brought down at the line of scrimmage for no game. Schwartz here now. All big eight safety. He's a good one. Get on that last tackle. 
Mosley, well, he's way back there at 35. And it's incomplete as he threw a short hop. Aggies are at the Iowa State 18-yard line. There is no score. Edge Armstrong is in there at the tailback. Brothers is the fullback. Mosley pops it, and it is incomplete. Doug Teague is the man for whom it is intended. It's going to be a 35-yarder. David Beal is holding for him. And Franklin puts it way up, and it's no good. It is no good. High enough and long enough, but wide. So it goes over at the 20-yard line. A line and the ball is marked ready for play by Don Dwyer, who is the referee. Give it to his fullback this time, and Tom Roach, the freshman. Motion across. Uh, cutting back is Dexter Green. And against the grain, he moves it out for a first and ten at the 33-yard line. Ray Hardy is no doubt to a slot left with Hickson on the wide left. He to the fullback and lots of running room. Dexter Green moved it up. But sometimes in bowl games, that doesn't hold up. It's very hard to predict performance in a bowl game. Again, it is carried by Tom Roach, the freshman fullback. And he is out there to the 47-yard line. Earl Bruce had an outstanding record at Iowa State. He was once on the staff of Woody Hayes at Ohio State. So he was doing some rebuilding earlier, but now he's got his act together. Rolling now is Grant. He's going to keep the ball. Pumps to the 50, and Grant trying to get to the sticks. Preston and Megstro are both in there on a double tight end alignment. Give it to the tailback, and Dexter Green was hit and hit hard. Longer on the team. First and ten. A little bobble on the snap, but uh, Grant retains control and throws it away out of bounds. Been engaging in the pregame festivities the last few days. Wally Grant dropping back, and he throws long, and it is incomplete and almost intercepted. Ray Hardy was the intended receiver. At third down and ten yards to go. Grant again, rolls and sets, steps up and goes long, and it is incomplete. Again, trying to get the long, long pass down there to Greg Smith. Give the punt. A high trajectory kick. Where catch signal goes up, but it takes the bounce this time into the end zone touchback. Brothers and Dickey in the I formation. And Dickey has the football. And he has daylight out there to about the 28th. Second down, two yards to go. Brothers is still in there at the fullback. Dickey again. He's got the first down. It'll be marked at the 33-yard line. Boski has somewhat been left out. He was married last Friday. First down at 10 yards to go. And Brothers got the handoff, and there was a pile up, and the ball got away briefly for a moment. It was Lindsay. <laughs> Not too bad. Mosley with a short drop. Now scrambles out to the left side, and it's blocked from behind. Doug Teague coming out to a wide right. Junior from Houston, Texas. Hopping back is Mike Mosley. Scrambles out of the pocket to the left side and goes out of bounds. Okay, waiting to get the side. Brown is retreating. And he's got it. The 33 to the 35. And he is cut down. He had 10 receptions in addition to his 991 yards rushing. across the 40 down to the 35 and on to the 32 yard line. Ray Hardy on a crossing pattern. They bring Ray Hardy into a wide left. Hopping back is Grant. Pumps once and that's all. He never had a chance. Never ever had any sort of a chance. Time has run out in the period. That's the end of the first quarter of the Hall of Fame Bowl with the score. Iowa State nothing. Texas A&M nothing. Jack Seabrook is the fullback and Dexter Green is the tailback. That's Hardy in motion across. Oh boy! And up just in time, and now that's Dexter Green down the right sideline, and he's pulled out of bounds at the 19 yard line. They've got Tom Roach and Dexter Green in the I formation. Dexter Green could not, could not get to the out front. Second down and 10 yards to go at the 19. 
And he's pumping, and it is complete. And he's taken by Hickson, and Stan Hickson is inside the 10, still struggling. Stopped at about the five-yard line. Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Roach and Green. Here's Green. Struggling to the three-yard line and pushed back. The option play. Grant stopped for a loss of a yard back at the five. Rolling is Grant. Goes now to the trailer. And Green has a touchdown. Dexter Green took it in at the flag for a touchdown. And the Cyclones are on the scoreboard. It came with 12 minutes, 34 seconds remaining to be played in the first half. And it's wide to the left side. It is no good. Johnson's conversion attempt is no good. And the score is Iowa State 6, Texas A&M nothing. And we'll return with more action after this timeout. Looking on. Johnson. Ball is bounded down midfield and is taken on the far side by Leandro Bacon. And he is across the 25-30 and at the 32-yard line. They've got David Brothers and Curtis Dickey in the I formation. Dickey spins his way across the 35. It'll be marked where his knee hit. Wide receivers left and right. Brothers and Dickey. Mosley sets up, and he is hauled down from behind. Mike Stensrud, the big tackle, the All-American. And Mike Mosley back, right over the middle, incomplete. Well, it was no fall to Mike Mosley. It's David Appleby. Sparrows it out. Joe Brown has got it there at the 25. Whoops, wrong way, Joe, come back. Yeah, you bet. Got to turn the corner if he's going to get it back where he was. Maybe spotted in the 30-yard line. Gary Milligan, big tackle there for Texas Tech. Right there, you're looking at him on your screen. Lamb Passes, Texas, is where Milligan is from. Wally Grant. No, too long and too late. And Jacob Green. Who go? And it is holding. It's all the way back now between the 12 and 13 yard lines. And they try a little draw play, a running draw, and Dexter Green's got the ball and he gets it out to the 23. Doug Carr, you're looking at him there, the middle linebacker, top tackler on that Texas Aggie ball club. Motion across. On the grant. And a diving attempt, but across the sideline marker, Greg Smith. Gathered it in, but he's across the sideline marker, and that makes it incomplete. Stan Hickson out into a wide right. A big, deep threat for Wally Grant. Now they try motion across with Ray Hardy coming to the same side. Grant now gets it off. And it is incomplete and almost intercepted. Carl Grulick had a good shot at it. And Aggie should have good field position. Well, under a heavy rush, he got it off. Darrell Smith calls for a fair catch at the 45. Finley marker. Fourth and three. Well, Smith is dropped back deep again. Smith deep. High trajectory. Smith sends up the fair catch signal and tries to get away, and it is going to be marked inside the 20 yard line. It's a little jam up there near him, a little traffic. That's it. Interference with the opportunity to make the fair catch, and it'll be a first and ten now. against the Cyclones is declined. Of course, you're exactly right. It'll be first down and goal inside the one-yard line. Armstrong is in there along with Brothers. Armstrong's the tailback. Brothers up and touchdown. Brothers is in for the touchdown. David Brothers from Seguin, Texas. So now the Aggies have tied the score and they have a conversion attempt coming. And he kicks it into the stands and it's good. 
show off. <laughs> so as they come back up the field, it's the Texas Aggies, seven, and Iowa State, six. And we have seven minutes, 38 seconds remaining to be played in the first half. Hardy is waiting, but it's taken in front of him at the goal line and returned to the 10 to the 15, and Green, Dexter Green, returns to the 17. Roach and Dexter Green in the I formation. Roach, the freshman, bounced off and continued. Iowa State sends Ray Hardy out into a wide right. Walter Grant, 14, is the quarterback. Swings it out into the left flat. Taken out there by Dexter Green. Dexter Green. Option play, and Dexter Green's got the ball. But he tries to reverse his field, and the white shirts pile him up. Smith. Rich Miller puts it up. Darrell Smith calls for the fair catch again, and this time he makes it. So they'll start first and ten at their 47-yard line with Brothers and Dickey in the eye formation. Mike Mosley chased out of the pocket. Going to keep it. 45-50. That's for the sideline. Discretion being for the better part of Valor. He goes out at the 46-yard line. Second down play coming now for the Aggies. Dickey. Bulldog at the 44. Well, he was going to try the option with a reverse pivot, but Rick White. Appleby gets the snap. Appleby kicks. Their catch signal goes up, but the ball hits in the end zone for a touchback. It'll be put in play first and 10. <laughs> first and 10 for Iowa State. They held the ball at the 20. Tom Roach got the hand off. Up to the line in the second and six now. Walter Grant. Pumped once, moved out, through, and incomplete. He was trying to get it from yeah. third and six. <laughs> well, Dexter Green, or rather, yes, Dexter Green across the 30, gets the first down. From the tailback. Got to him. And we'll be picking the high school All-America football team right here on the Miss Luke Television Network. Third and 16, and Grant. First complete, taken by Guy Preston, and he is out of bounds. Darrell Smith. Well, they took the high snap, boned it out of there. Darrell Smith takes it at the 23, and Darrell Smith goes to the 25. Lost his balance and stumbled his way up as they send Doug T. Got into a wild right. Mike Mosley is the quarterback. David Brothers and Curtis Dickey are in the I formation. Ah, uh, the draw play. And it's Curtis Dickey. He's out to the 45 and the 50. He pulled a couple of jukes and moved it all the way down to the 37. How'd you like the moves he made it? We have 57 seconds left to play in the half. Mike Mosley back. Steps up and throws right, and it's complete. Up to 28 and down to the 25-yard line. Mosley. Going long to the corner, and it is overthrown and intercepted out of bounds. Well, it wasn't intercepted even. Second down, 10 yards to go. Mosley, and he gets out of trouble. To the 28 oh, good to the 15. Move to the 10, and he is out of bounds at the 6 or 7 yard line. But the ground game is in high gear. Dickey and Brothers in the I formation. Option play. Mosley got to the 5 yard line and just inside it. 15 seconds. They're up with a no huddle formation. Ready to go again. And penalty marker is thrown. It's into the end zone. Touchdown. Taken over there by Gerald Carter. Now there's a penalty marker to be checked out. First half. That's exactly what it is. Illegal procedure declined. Touchdown. Foot swollen. Lens. And the higher trajectory kick is good. And with eight seconds remaining to be played in the first half, it's the Texas Aggies, 14. Cyclones of Iowa State, six. 
many Iowa Staters like to harken back to 1959 when Clay Stableton had the Dirty 30 at Iowa State, a team they still remember taking way back halfway in the end zone, turned to the 5 to the 10 to the 15, and Ray Hardy is stopped as he got almost to the 20-yard line. Deep and Franklin hangs them quite high. Offsides, meaning that the Aggies had a man ahead of the kicker. Gives it to his tailback, Dex to Green. Moved it out to the 38-yard line, and time has run out. As he moved it from the 18 to the 38 for 20 yards. So that is the end of the first half of the Hall of Fame Bowl with a score. Texas Aggies 14, Iowa State 6. As we start the second half of the Hall of Fame game at Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama. It's taken at the two-yard line and returned to the five by Bacon. He gets across the 10, then is upended. So it is first and 10 now for the Texas Aggies. They have brothers and Curtis Dickey in the eye for Mike Mosley. The keep, and Dickey finds daylight. And then he ever burst through there. He's out across the 40-yard line and out to the 43 for a first and 10. Mosley was two for six, 16 yards. They did it primarily on the ground. So got Brothers and Dickey in the eye formation and bobble the snap. Scramble is on. And Iowa State has recovered the fumble, I believe they did. Now uh, Walter Grant brings the Cyclones up. He's got Dexter Green and Tom Roach in his eye formation. Roach is struggling. The freshman fullback got only about a half yard. Call it second and ten. Dexter Green's in the right set. The option play and Dexter Green gets the flip. He goes out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. And the teams have been feeded by the bowl officials in the last few days. They have been thoroughly entertained. Dexter Green keeps the drive alive with a first and ten at the 31-yard line. Hardy and Hickson out there. Formation for Walter Grant. Gives it to his freshman fullback Tom Roach. And he gets only a yard. To... Mike Little, you saw it there, the linebacker, but the handoff went to Dexter Green. To say it is leading 14 to 6. Grant guns it. Incomplete. Stan Hickson running post. A 43 yard field goal. The hash mark right. It carries, and it is no good. It is no good, and it'll be spotted at the line of scrimmage, which is the 26. Mike Mosley brings him up. David Brothers and Curtis Dickey in the I formation. Dickey. Out to the 30-yard line for four, where it'll be second down and six. And Mike Whitwell into a wide right. Reverse pivot. Mosley keeps. Got to the 34-yard line. The game consists of third downs. Can you convert? That's the whole idea. Taken by Curtis Dickey. And he got in front of the sticks for the first down. Just barely. First and ten at the 36. Well, he pumped the screen first. And then threw out there to Gerald Carter. Second down and ten yards to go for the Aggies. Now the draw player this time to Curtis Dickey. And no matter what play it is, if he carries, it's third down and two yards to go at the 44. Dickey, penalty marker was thrown, and he got right to the six, and then with the second effort got ahead, I think. A 17-yarder. How do you come up with a 17-yard? Well, what? Third down. And 17 yards to go at the 29. Armstrong is in there to tailback now. On the draw play, Adger Armstrong is carrying. But only out to the 39. Applebee's, Applebee's kick. Now it's back upfield. Hit somebody. reception they think so in any case from they had up the officials say no now they say yes the Aggies get the football first and ten at the 38 yard line holiday bowl first and ten now for the Aggies at the 37 yard is Dickey and Dickey is inside the 35 so it'll be Carter and Whitwell at wide receivers David Brothers and Curtis Dickey in the I formation for Mike Mosley 
Foul play again. Curtis Dickey can't get away. Moved over to guard in place of Randy Cook starting tonight's ball game. Mosley now runs out of the pocket, but runs into a flock of red shirts. So he takes a big loss. He is a leading by a score of 14 to 6. We're in the third quarter. Hall of Fame bowl at Legion Double Field in Birmingham. Takes an Aggie bounce this time. And it's being killed down near the two-yard line. First attempt the four. Iowa State in their own territory. So they run the quarterback draw and just simply open up the line for Walter Grant and he squirts through there past the 15-yard line. Well, this time they got it to Dexter Green. Short drop. Just a quick out over there and it's taken by Stan Hickson. Walter Grant with motion across. Gets it to his tailback, Dexter Green. Big opener, and he got a first down at the 33-yard line. Stan Hickson is out into a wide right. Ray Hardy in a wide left. And it is Guy Preston who made the juggling catch. Guy Preston controlled the ball and went out of bounds at the 46-yard line of Texas A&M. The Aggies lead it by a score of 14-6. to We're in the third quarter. Victor Mack is in there now. Grant now going long. Incomplete to Ray Hardy. Paul Grant added to his tailback Victor Mack. He's trying to get to the sticks and he got very close. They have Tom Roach in at fullback. Green got the first down. We'll take a close look. Well, it's spotted short, so it's fourth down. Next to Green is the tailback. Tom Roach is the fullback. Quarterback sneak. Walter Grant. I think he got it that time, but I thought he got it the other time. First down and 10 yards to go now for the Cyclones of Iowa State. They have the ball at the Texas Aggie 36 yard line. Walter Grant. Incomplete at the 25 yard line. Reverse pivot. Keeper for the quarterback and Grant moves inside the 30 yard line. Grant to the 28. Third down and two yards to go for Iowa State. Hardy in motion across. Next to Green. The Aggie defense got to him that time, and he did not make it, so they've got another fourth Green. down coming. Full back is Tom Roach. Waller grants the quarterback. Ray Hardy in motion across. First pivot on the pitch to Green. He's got the first down. He's from 20 to 15 to 10, 5. Touchdown! Next to Green with Tom Roach throwing a block to clear the way. So oh, Dexter Green has scored the touchdown. They're going to go for two to try to tie the score here. In college football, the two-point conversion is an option. Green and Roach. And now Grant steps back, throws it, and it is incomplete. Carl Grillick. Kevin Liggins now doing the kicking for the Iowa State Cyclones. Liggins is waiting, and he's got it at the goal line. He is back at the 5, the 10, the 15. To the 20 the 25 and he is and it was clipping on the run back full game at legion field in birmingham alabama give it to curtis dickey Out across the 15 and on up to the 18 yard line they're in an eye formation with dickey in the tailback and mosley the quarterback and david brothers in between them option play and mosley's got it and the trailer is dickey and dickey now Forced out of bounds. The Cyclones are excited. They want to force them into a punting situation to get the football. Iowa State trails by two. Dickey. Well, he didn't get it. That'll bring out the punting unit. He's at the 20-yard line. Point. They feel they have it going. Appleby gets the kick off. Appleby. Brown calls for the fair catch. Let's it go, and it takes an Aggie bounce across the 40. And it's going out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Dexter Green's the tailback. Hardy in motion across. Grant has the ball. Goes long. Now the right sideline incomplete. They were really letting out Greg Smith. Dexter Green's still the tailback, and that's Hardy in motion across. Give it on the draw to Dexter Green. Wow. Well, he's hard to bring down. He just keeps coming forward, and time has run out. And that's the end of the third quarter of the Hall of Fame Bowl with the score. Texas 
Aggies 14, Iowa State 12. Through three quarters, AM rushed for 247 yards, Iowa State for 199. That's Smith deep. AM passed for 16 yards, and Iowa State for 98. Smith sends up the fair catch signal and makes the fair catch as they lead by a score of 14 to 12, and they have the ball first and 10 short of their own 32 yard line. Mike Mosley, quarterbacking, gives it off to his tailback, Curtis Dickey. Eight second on eight yards to go. Mosley sets it up. And it is complete up at the 48-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go for the Yankees. They held the ball at their own 48-yard line. Mosley now chased out of the pocket. Scrambling on and throws on the run. And it is complete with an amazing catch at the 47 by Doug T. Good oh, for only, really a good play. Good for only five because... He had faded so far and just handed off to Curtis Dickey, and he gets up to the 45 yard line. Goes Gerald Carter. Teague is in a wide left. Well, contact made before the snap. <laughs> Illegal procedure against the Aggies. That'll be a tough one for him. Carter to the left side, Whitwell to the right side. Dickey and Brothers in the eye. Mosley. the 42-yard line. Deep wide to the left side. Gerald Carter wide to the right side. Curtis Sticky, the ever-present tailback, and he has the ball. It's hard to bring down. At the 37-yard line, John. Second down, and six yards to go. Curtis Sticky. And he is at the 33-yard line for four. Doug T got to a wide right, third and one at the 32-yard line for the Texas Aggies in Iowa State Territory. Again, Dickey. And he's got the first and ten at the 29-yard line. Brothers the fullback. Dickey the tailback. Dickey again. Well, that time he was stacked up. In Edger Armstrong takes the pick. Fullback, lots of running room. Third down for the Aggies, and three yards to go. They held the ball at the Cyclones 22 yard line. Iowa State trying to dig in the defense now. Armstrong again. He's hard to bring down, struggling to get to the sticks, and he may have made it. The first down at 10 yards to go at the 19 yard line. The Aggies have a two point lead. We're in the fourth quarter here. They try the draw play. Curtis oh. Dickey back in the ball game at the 10, at the 5. Touchdown for Curtis Dickey. Dickey with 19 yards, first to get out the flag for another Texas Aggie touchdown. That is unofficial. Our trajectory of conversion is good. And the score is 21 to 12. The Aggies are leading with nine minutes, two seconds left in the game. We'll return with more action after this timeout. try the onside kick, but Iowa State takes it at the 34-yard line, and will start their first and 10 at the 34. So now it is first and 10 for Iowa State. Hardy in motion across. And their tailback, Dexter Green, but he was hit immediately at the 32-yard line. Second down and 12 yards to go. At the 32-yard line, Walter Grant's to the quarterback. Over and back for Jacob Green. He's done that a few times tonight. Grant is rolling. Don't stop. That's the key. Hits the deck. Third down and 11 yards to go at the 33-yard line. Ball to Grant. Throws incomplete. He threw behind his intended receiver, Ray Hardy. Up to play in this second annual Hall of Fame bowl game. Well, it took a lot of time. And it is again taking an Iowa State bounce this time. Down to the 22-yard line. He's still got some football to go. David Beal is in there at quarterback now. Mike Mosley is being given a rest in David Beal. Hands it off to Curtis Dickey. And Dickey goes to the left, right side. And gets just across the 25. Beal is a sophomore from Russellville, Arkansas. And he pitches it to Dickey. Turns the corner. Turns on a little speed that he had left. And moved it to the 33-yard line. But you get past Dickey, where else do you go? That's your Armstrong. It's the tailback now as Dickey's being rested, and Armstrong gets across the 30 to the 36-yard line. A gain of only three. 
Mike Whitwell is in there to wide receiver now. Roger Armstrong tries to slide off and gets only to the 37 yard line. John Meese. Here's the nose guard in there defensively, number 92. They try the delay to add your Armstrong, and he gets up to about the 39-yard line. Up of here. Hands out stretch, gets the snap. Brown retreats. Well, he dropped it. Can he get it? Scramble is on. No. At the five-yard line. And the Aggies have recovered at the Iowa State five-yard line. As Joe Brown tried to field the ball over his shoulder, he fumbled it. Adger Armstrong gets the handoff, and Adger Armstrong gets right to the goal line. Touchdown! <laughs> you know, it looked like for sure he was going to be stopped at least a yard short of it, maybe a yard and a half short of it, but running with a lot of power. Mike Bear puts it up there, and it's good. So the score now is the Texas Aggies 28, and the Cyclones of Iowa State 12. We have five minutes, three seconds remaining to be played in this game. I'm going to take this opportunity to pass along our thanks for the work tonight. Get a hold of that football and see if they can do something with it right now. I kick off. Hardy brings it out to the 5 to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30, and skips his feet. And Hardy now is at the 40 and the 45, and an exciting kickoff return to the 49-yard line. Return that time by Ray Hardy. Jimmy Hamilton finally made the tackle. Here is Grant cutting it, and it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Greg Smith. In North Carolina State. Right here, it is 28 to 12. The Texas Aggies are leading Iowa State. Give it off to the tailback, Victor Mack. And Victor Mack first through. With 419 left in the game, Texas A&M leading 28 to 12. Iowa State has to strike a lot and, and in a hurry. And again, it's Victor Mack, the sophomore from Mansfield, Ohio. Well, they try the quarterback, and uh, he may have picked it up. Wide receiver right. Grant is rolling, but he sheds a tackler and throws, and it is complete. And now the ball is away, and it's going to be called incomplete. It was Guy Preston trying to control it. That's super. Second down, 10 yards to go. Grant. Well, he was hit just as he started to throw, in my opinion. Maybe they're going to call it a fumble. Who knows? It's all in play, and he's going to spot it back there at the 49-yard line. Third down and 20 yards to go. And again. Scrambles out now. Going to keep it. Gets only to the 41-yard line, where it's going to be fourth down and 10 yards to go. Yeah, sure. Right. Man, those guys are doing well. <laughs> And it's Dexter Green, and Dexter Green got the first down to keep the drive alive. A slick handoff. They brought him down. Green's carried 21 times for 148 yards. On the 28-yard line, there's a pass play to Greg Smith, and he is at the 12-yard line. That'll be another first down. The senior from Peoria, Illinois. And from the 12-yard line now, here's a pass play that is incomplete. Dexter Green is the tailback. Roach is the fullback. Grant is the quarterback. Motion across by Ray Hardy. Grant. And it is incomplete. Dexter Green is the tailback. Grant rolls. Rolls into the end zone, and it is tipped up and incomplete. An attempt made at a one-hand stab by Stan Hickson. It'll be fourth down and 10 yards to go outside the 11-yard line. And it is taken into the end zone for the touchdown by Greg Smith. But, but, uh, it is incomplete. It is incomplete. I and think they're going to rule that Smith was probably juggling as he fell to the ground there. Now the Aggies with a safe lead. Beal has the ball, giving it off, and it's advanced out to the 20-yard line. And now time has run out in the ball game, and the Texas Aggies have won it by a score of 28 to 12. That's the end of the Hall of Fame Bowl. The score: Texas A&M 28, Iowa State 12.